Hey everybody, I'm Robert, the Zombie Bargain Hunter, and this is what sold on eBay for December 16th through the 22nd. I know I'm kind of behind, I'm a couple days behind, uh, I usually put out the videos on Tuesday or Wednesday, but, well usually Wednesday, but this week I've been swamped with Christmas and everything, and uh, actually having a huge buy, I'm going to a bunch of different stores and I'm buying a lot of items right now. So, um, been really busy. But anyways, um, let's get right into the video. I know you saw from the thumbnail that I got this guy for Christmas. Oh, let's see if you can see him. Yep, you can see him close up. Uh, I got a lot of glare. But, you can see him. He's pretty big. Look, he's bigger than my head. <laughs> Anyways, um, sales, um, uh, Monday, since I had, since I was out for Christmas, I had a five-day handling on my store, so, sales were pretty low, um, normally I sell between 60 and 100 and whatever, and this week I only sold, um, only 54 went out, so, let's get into the video and I'll show you what, what went on, <laughs> alrighty, yep, let's go here. Uh, starting December 16th through the 22nd, I made $2,625.92. That is down 32% from last week. So last week I had a great week. This week was a little bit, I mean it's not terrible. I like to make at least $1,200 a week. So I'm even double what I like to make. So I'm very happy with it still. Let's go to here. Uh, last 31 days, I'm um, down a percentage, so no, nothing big. I'm still 151% over the prior year, so last year, since I've worked so hard to get up all my listings, um, I'm killing it from last year. I've over doubled what I made last year. I only had 3,100 listings up, so I'm not even close to my 4,000 that I had at one time. So I'm a little bit down. I'm listing because I've been just so busy. Alright, let's start with the collectibles and we'll go into the plush at the end. Um, this guy I got, I bought a bunch of loot crates uh, for 50% off before they started having <laughs> problems. So, um, I basically paid paying like 20 bucks a box and since I'm selling um, these guys for like $34, I mean, it's it's paying for itself. So buying from Loot Crate is working out right now. Um, I wish I wouldn't have done it because now I'm behind like a hundred boxes because they they switched owners. So hopefully they'll catch up. And but if not, I, I'm I still made plenty of money. Uh, this is uh, just a Kraken. You can see Sea of Thieves. The the boxes they all sent me damaged. I hope they replace them. But if they don't, they don't. They said they were going to. They said to keep these and uh, they'll replace them. But we'll see. I mean, even though the boxes are damaged, I'm making $34.99 with free shipping. I've already sold four. I actually bought uh, eight different uh, eight different uh, subscriptions to Loot Crate and eight of each. So I bought a ton of Loot Crate when they were 50% off. Plus um, Rack. Rakuten was giving uh, 10% off, plus I had another 5% on my credit card, and I did something now, so these boxes were really, really inexpensive for me. I really um, jammed together a lot of different uh, bonuses, and the boxes got down so far, it was great. Let's keep going. Uh, these I picked up uh, last year, they were a couple dollars. Nothing big. Um, three so far have sold for eleven ninety nine. So I'm not making a ton of profit, but at least I'm finally getting rid of them. Uh, I thought I was going to be stuck with them. I thought I might have to donate them, but I guess with the new Star Wars movie coming out or already out by now, um, at least some of them. Uh, some of them are sold. I've sold three. I still have seventeen, so not great. But hey, <laughs> at least I'm getting some of my money back. Uh, another one of my towels. I know you've seen plenty of different towels that I've had. This is a Little Mermaid. Um, again, I got these at Kohl's when they were on sale. P 
paid around three four bucks you get Cole's cash and all that nonsense sold uh, six so far at $14.99 uh, this I bought in a big lot buy. Um, it's through a Facebook group. They have a. It's a Facebook group where they sell um, a whole bunch of uh, items and lots. And I bought a lot of uh, these needle point kits and craft kits and a whole bunch of things. Um, nothing special about it. They're, they were missing the needle. Or I don't know if it was in there. I couldn't find it, so I just put it there. But they were selling the. I've sold a bunch of them for around twenty four, twenty five dollars, and I only paid sixty dollars for the whole lot. I got around. There was about eighty in the lot, so it's it's been a great buy. Um, these you've seen before. These are the anime fruits basket. Uh, I know the name. <laughs> it kills me every time I have to say it. <laughs> Fruits Basket is just an anime exclusive t-shirt. Um, I sold all. I got posters. I got pins. I've sold through everything like that. So you see anime Fruits Basket. Pick it up. It's worth it's worth a bunch of money. Um, these I got at the bins for a quarter. Um, nothing special about them. Just uh, nunchucks from the Ninja Turtles. So you find any Ninja Turtle items I'm sure like the sword or the staff or the Psy or any of the other weapons sell pretty well so keep your eye out if you can find them cheap pick them up well, they, they, they sold pretty fast I only had this up for like a month uh, these, these hats again I got from Loot Crate um, I bought a bunch of boxes. These were in it. They were selling for $17.99. I mean, Loot Crate, um, I didn't really buy it before, but since I got the, the deal with the 50% off and then the 10% back from Rakuten, which is, it, they took over for Ebates, if you know Ebates, and then I had my credit card and then some other deal on the side, so... I killed it on these things. I'm sure the the crates only cost me like uh, for the fifty dollar crates. They only cost me maybe like eighteen dollars or so. Maybe not even that. It was a great great buy. So just selling one hat and then selling the the kraken or whatever those book uh, shelf or the bookends. I mean I've more than doubled my money. So it was a great buy. Uh, these I got for free. These are Mickey Mouse lights. Uh, my mom was actually going to use them for a dollhouse for my great niece. And she decided not to that they didn't go with um, what she was doing. So she bought it and just said, hey, take them and sell them. So I did. I got $21.99 with uh, free shipping. Darth Vader. Um, these I had again for... Well, not again. <laughs> These I had uh, since last year. Um, I believe I paid like five dollars for them. I bought all that I could. I bought, I believe it was ten, and held on to them for a year. And all of a sudden, they started selling for eighteen dollars. I probably should have raised the price because um, they sold super fast um, once the the new movie came out. Um, but whatever. At least I got rid of them. It's better than holding on to them. I mean, they're not they're they're cool they're like um, chrome figures they're special to target oh there you go you can see his face it looks cool I'm just glad I got rid of them I didn't get stuck with them sometimes you get stuck with pops and it really sucks <laughs> uh, these I got at a price mistake on Amazon I got a bunch of these I believe I bought like 20 of these I don't remember what I paid but I know I paid maybe one or two dollars a piece for them um, I've had these for a few years, at least a year. Um, nothing special about them, just an Apple iPad Pro. Just you see any Amazon deals, super deals, just pick them up, put them on, <laughs> make some money. Uh, these games I was buying at GameStop, they they ran me around four dollars each, 
And so far, I've sold 13 of them. I mean, it's not great profit margin. I make $10 um, each. You pay $3 in shipping. So I'm making about six, six ish dollars each. But since I'm selling so many of them, and I got a great buy from uh, GameStop that it, it worked out great. This is a Monopoly game. I took it apart. This is the third thing I've sold from it. Um, one was the... What was it? One was the, the tokens. And then one was something else. And this is the rest of it. So I've sold three things out of it. Oh, it was it like the houses and hotels and stuff like that? I forget what they were. They were houses and hotels. So, instead of selling the whole set for like $20, I sold three different times out of this set. So, instead of making just one $20 um, purchase, I made three $12 to $15. The tokens sold, I believe, were, they were um, $16, $17. I don't remember exactly what they sold for, but they were real. They were a nice uh, sale. All right, on to the plush. Um, let's start with this Aurora Scotty dog. <laughs> Nothing uh, great. Um, keep an eye out for the Aurora little dogs. Different Aurora things when they're like lifelike animals like this. They sell pretty well. They don't sell for a ton of money. I got $14 for it. But they ship real inexpensively. It's only 9 inches. So I probably paid like a quarter at the bins. This guy. I got this guy at Walgreens. Easter's starting to sell. So if you have Easter, start putting it up. Start putting it up. It's a um, great time to start selling them. I got these. I believe they were... $14.99 and then 90% off, so I got paid like a dollar fifty for them. Uh, I knocked down the price a little bit, but yeah, I sold uh, both of the last ones that I had for $18.99 with free shipping. Then they wound up being uh, first class, so that was a real bonus. Uh, these, these Lovey blankets, they're still selling great. Loveys are, I don't know what's the deal with them, but people love to buy them they're small they maybe cost a quarter at the bins um that, yeah <laughs> oh, nothing else i can say this one has a fire hydrant he's a little dog and they paid 20 dollars for him which is crazy to me <laughs> he's only 12 by 12 oh uh, winnie the pooh winnie the pooh's really not a great uh pickup but when you get to the white ones and the snow ones and different colored ones and where he's wearing something different, like there's one with the Lego hat and um, different ones like that. If you find those, pick those up. But regular Winnie, Winnie the Pooh, uh, most of the time I'll just leave it there. Unless, of course, like I'm getting it at the bins and it's like uh, 25 cents or something. But other than that, if you have to pay actually a dollar, I wouldn't even pick them up for a dollar. I, I mean, I pick the white ones up, but not the regular Winnie the Poops. They're way too flooded. So stay away unless you find uh, a different color or a different variety of Winnie the Pooh. Uh, Woodstock. This guy sings and dances. I probably should have introduced him. <laughs> probably should have just put him on the beginning of the video, but I already mailed him. Too bad. Um... Yeah, he plays a, a Linus and Lucy song, and he sings and dances, and he sold for... Oh no, this one actually plays Jingle Bells. Uh, he sold for $24.99 with free shipping. Uh, Space Monkey, if you find any NASA stuff, any aerospace items, anything like that, they sell very well. Um, this one is actually damaged on the sleeve. Let me show you. Um, scratch there. Uh, no, does it show it? Oh yeah, this one's actually here's the damage on the sleeve. Does it have a thread loose? Looks like. But anyways, yeah, anything like the spaceships or the monkeys with the helmets on them, anything like that, they sell. Um, 
pretty well and pretty fast. I, I put it down a little bit. Normally I put him probably around $22, $23. But I put him down because he's a little bit damaged and yeah, he's kind of small. What's next? Um, F.E.L. Schwartz, Gray Tabby Kitty. This little kitty, just a gray and white kitty. Kind of like a realistic look. So, like I've told you before, when um, you find realistic animals, people want what they either had or or they desire. So, pick them up. And F.A. Schwartz is, of course, a great brand um, to have. And he sold for $19.99 with free shipping. Despicable Me, they're still selling. Um, surprised they're still selling. I mean... This guy, I don't even think he was in the last movie. I didn't watch the last one, so... I think he was only in uh, part two. Anyways, they're, they're still selling and they sold for $14.99. I still have one left. So you see any Despicable Me, the... Of course, the unicorn. But not the generic unicorn. The unicorn that's like sitting up or different colors and different like that. Pick those up. The generic unicorn, nah, probably just stay away from it right now. Because they, they're they they're flooding the market with it. Let's go on to this. This, um, I got this from a website called Holler. Uh, they had a great sale on a whole bunch of different things. I picked up, I believe I have eight of them. I didn't put the rest up because they didn't show up till after I listed them. Or her, I guess this is ballerina <laughs> unicorn, so it's a her. Uh, there, it was different. I believe I only paid um, dollar fifty or so. It was not that much. There's the sign. Um, that's the website where I picked them up, and I picked up a whole bunch of things when they had a great sale. But yeah, I always keep my eyes out for different uh, websites, different clearance sales. Anytime there's a great sale, and it's plush or toys or Funko or games, anything like that, I, <laughs> I'll be there. And the uh, first one sold for $14.99. I just listed her like a week ago, so we'll see how they do. It's a ballerina unicorn with silver horn and silver feet. <laughs> or paws. And she's a good size. It's 16 inch long, so it should sell well. This guy I've had a long, long time. This is a classic beanie. I believe I got this at um, a swap meet for $2. I got a ton of Disney toys for $2 at a swap meet that were all brand new with tags. So I believe he was one of them. Um, then he sold for $11.99. Nothing, not great, but yeah, it's, it's something. I've sold a ton of the... Um, I bought boxes upon boxes. He had... Uh, whole collection different uh, mini uh, Disney classic beanbag so I probably got I don't know a couple hundred at least so selling these guys just to get rid of them is great because I sold the other ones for decent money here again here's a despicable me <laughs> here's a unicorn that I'm talking about this is different he's uh, up on his hind legs he's got his paws <laughs> He looks stupid. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's the one I'm I'm talking about. Anytime you find something um, different on a character, pick them up. I mean, anything different sells. All right, let's go to like a, here <laughs> something different. I probably nobody would pick up this stupid thing except for me. It's a minion ball. There's like a ball inside this thing. He looks terrible. <laughs> um, I got him from the uh, Goodwill bins for probably like a quarter. I'm like, eh, what the heck? He's only six inches. I don't know. Maybe someone will like him for a dog or something. And yeah, he sold for eleven ninety nine. I mean, for a quarter and you resell for eleven ninety nine. It it's, it's great. I I don't mind doing it. And as you can see, it says um, you can inflate and deflate them. So you can poof, puff, poof them up. <laughs> uh, let's go to the next one. 
Uh, these I got. I actually paid full price for these at Kohl's Care or at Kohl's, <laughs> not Kohl's Cares. Um, they were five dollars each. Uh, we got Snoopy, Charlie Brown, Lucy, a uh, whole bunch of the gang. Um, they all sold super fast. She's. Uh, I have a few more Charlie Browns and a couple or three left of hers right here. Yeah, it was a. Actually, just regular price. They were five bucks. They had a bunch of them, and I'm like, ah, take the chance. They let me buy um, a bunch of them. So there we go. <laughs> what's what's next? This this one surprised me. I comped this thing, and it said forty dollars. Well, actually, it said thirty dollars. I put them up to forty because I figured I'd run a sale for them. But yeah, he sold for full price. I couldn't believe it. Uh, actual tie that sold well. <laughs> Usually ties uh, don't sell well unless they're the beanie boos with the big eyes. This is a tie silk. This one sold way more than I expected. I never expected to get forty dollars out of a just a, he's just a twelve inch tie. I guess the hoodwink monkey is a special one. I wasn't aware about it, but I threw it up there at that price because it looked like it was a decent price and it sold. <laughs> So it was shocking to me. This is a tiny little elephant. Had him up for probably a year. He's very small, eight inches. You can see the pictures aren't that great, so you can tell that it's been a little while. Just from Fiesta, yeah, it says seven point five. I put eight. Whatever, <laughs> close enough. Anyways, I got thirteen ninety nine with free shipping. Let's keep going. Uh, these, um, after I got these, <laughs> I found out these were actually at the Dollar Tree. So, <laughs> I'm surprised anybody even wanted to touch these. I guess people didn't have a Dollar Tree or didn't see them. I mean, they're real cheap little monkeys. I actually probably should have taken them down, but hey, I'm glad I didn't because they sold, they've sold for... I actually took a best offer. I believe it was just 10 bucks, But I got rid of them. I knew they were from the Dollar Tree after I saw them. Because I went into the store. I'm like, oh man. I just put those up and they're there. So yeah. Um, put a couple items together. If they're different, people might buy them. Alright. These guys I got for um, from a quarter. My, uh, my little thrift store that sells a bunch of loot crate items. They... They had a basket of these guys. I probably had about 20 of these. And they're all gone now. Um, I held on to them for about a year. And all of a sudden people just started buying them one at a time. I couldn't believe it. I mean the game's been out for a couple of years. And nobody would buy it back then. But all of a sudden people started wanting to buy them. So I'm happy I got eight ninety nine for the last nine of them. With the free shipping. Uh, Clippers, the Clippers NBA basketball, that's a bolo, and all my Clippers items that I had just flew off the shelf with Kawhi Leonard and Paul George showing up, and finally a decent owner that's not a scumbag. <laughs> um, yeah, so the Clippers are actually gotten good, they're getting a little bit of a following, so if you have any Clippers item, make sure you raise the price, take better pictures. Throw them back up there. As I, this little monkey got me $22.99 with free shipping. Let me show you a little few of the pictures. See as the LA on the bottom. Even the old ugly mascot bird I sold. I mean anything Clipper right now is selling. There's a lot of Clipper bandwagon fans right now. <laughs> Clippers and Lakers. Are, all of those items are selling right now. What's next? Um, this is another realistic dog. It's a beagle. Chemical Classics, I've told you before, they sell really good. Really well. Uh, there's this tag. It's from Russ. And, let's see. He sold for $16.99 with free shipping. Two more to go. Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty, I'm finally starting to sell again. Um, it's been flooded for a long time. I guess it's calmed down some. 
But I'm getting a lot of out of the country people buying them. So I'm making a, like $5 each more because of the shipping. I only pay like uh, seven ninety five to ship them. And they pay like twelve ninety five, up to fourteen to fifteen dollars a ship, because eBay calculates their shipping, and I go through Pirate Ship and Pirate Ships. If you go through their um, their rate, it's so much uh, cheaper. So if you're shipping out of the country, definitely go through Pirate Ship. It'll save you a bunch of money. And last but not e least. My final bolo is Sad Sam. Sad Sam is a little sad little dog. <laughs> uh, this one actually plays Happy Birthday. I had to change the batteries. There's a. I had to actually uh, open it up on the bottom and make a hole, put new batteries in it, and my mom sewed it back up. But it works perfectly. Uh, don't have a demonstration for you, but the little candle lights up and sings happy birthday. All right. So that's all that I have for you today. Um, hope you enjoyed. Sorry it's a little bit late. Uh, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And don't fiddle fart around. Get your listings up. Take care, guys. See you later.